taking a knee for George Floyd. Blacks, whites and Latinos came together in what started out as yet another peaceful day of protests. Their message, say no to racism. We don't want to live in a country that pretends that racism is over, because racism has never been over. Racism is still here and large today. This time you've seen nationally over 30 cities mobilize and individuals come together and say, we are demanding justice, not just for Floyd, but for a corrupt system. Coming out of this pandemic, things cannot go back to the status quo. If you ain't with us, you against us. While these protests have remained largely peaceful, authorities worry that once the sun goes down, violence will erupt once again, as it has in previous days, uh, prompting the governor of Minnesota to mobilize the full force of the National Guard. And this time, the National Guard and the police had orders to strictly enforce the citywide curfew. Get out of here! Not enough, though, to stop protesters from taking to the streets late into the night. Cops are doing this just because of our skin color, and they're uh, basically being racist, and basically they're killing us for no reason. They killed that man for no reason. He didn't do nothing. On edge, after five nights of looting and violence, law enforcement cracked down on protesters and journalists alike oh with tear gas and rubber bullets, a show of force meant to make their message clear.